They were my best friends <laughs> growing up. The black kid. <laughs> yeah. I didn't want to leave the hotel. I was scared too. Meanwhile, you think it smelled like straight horse booty, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that was. Welcome to Tabletop Topics. I'm your host, Jeff. And of course, Jeff. Now we should do it like this. Welcome to Tabletop Topics News Now. On today's episode... <laughs> I'm your host, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, Jeff. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, man. What's up, man? How are you feeling? Bruh. You look, you look like uh, your bones hurt. I know it's a Tuesday morning. I'm exhausted. Yeah. Man. I am exhausted. That, that job is beating you up. Is, is beating my I mean, you're going to need new clothes. You're starting to lose too much weight. <laughs> yeah. That's what's happening. I can see your neck bone. <laughs> that's what's happening. Yeah. That's what's happening. Damn. I probably might need to. I don't know, bro. I don't know what I need. Ugh. Right now, you're just, you're just still trying to wake up. Yep. I'm still trying to wake up. I woke you up too early. Uh, it, I think it's because the whole mental shift, because I know I have the next three days off. Yeah. That switch happens where it's like, eh, I'm going to sleep in. But your first day is, is your first day usually I'm going to sleep in and then after that? Yeah, usually that's And the last two days are just like a regular day off if you were to work up. Right. Which is why I like five. the whole three day off. Yeah. And that that's why I was saying um, I, can't, I can't wait like, to. That's pretty awesome. Because it's like, you can't have two days one day to recoup and then one day it's like shit i work tomorrow but I so you have to figure out what you want to do what you want yeah because right. that's what it is and and that's why vacation is different from from actually having a two day two days off because again too people are recouping which is why it sucks for people who do nine to five weekends off because it literally is i work monday through friday and then the first day, even though they... It's me recouping. Yeah, it's me recouping, then, but they end up going out and doing other things anyway because they don't want to waste that, that's nuts. that opportunity. And then Sunday is literally rest day, too. I have to get ready to go it's to work. It's to mentally prep yourself that I'm going to work. So nine to fives aren't, aren't even worth it anymore, if you think about it. Because Just that structure. But then again, who's trying to work 10 hours a day? No, nobody is. But if the if the reward is three days off, I take it. You see what I'm saying? Right. And I think that's why they're starting to do that. Because at work, um, they've been spouting for five years work-life balance. But most managers or people who have children find themselves at work more than they are at home. Mm -hmm. Or when they get home, the kids are asleep or the husband's asleep or the wife's asleep. So it's like there is no work-life balance. Because if something happens, who do you call? right away to come into work that's right and that's the thing and it's like the higher up you climb up the corporate ladder the less you see your family that's unless they're all adults and stuff like that and you don't care yeah it's true but that's but as of right now if you have children being in management is not is not worth it unless you work from home exactly and which it's a retail company so that doesn't imagine if public so bro so i saw this weird Publix is so modern and futuristic. Now, okay, so this is what I learned. Keep your thought. This mm -hmm. is what I learned. So the reason why, because we're wa they're wa watching, we're watching a video on Publix. So the reason why Publix has been able to stay with the times is because of technology. Yeah. So they literally said they were the first company to do the ATM machines. They were the first companies to have the barcodes, and then everybody else copied them. I'm talking around the United States. They were the first company to do the barcodes. They were the first company to have uh, registers. Um, they were behind self checkout and all that shit like that. But other than that, th those innovations that started in the late eighties and, and wait, and, registers, like uh, the scanners. Sorry, the oh. scanners. Oh, not the. You know how you had to right you type everything in. Yeah, yeah, you had to type everything. Well, not even it was click, 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 click. Well, even even when Dixie just five years ago finally changed their buttons into digital, digital touch screens. Bro, you know how awesome it is now. Everyone's now tap pay friendly. Yes. I just walk. Bam. Get the fuck out. Gas. Bam. Whatever. Bam. Exactly. It's so quick and easy. And I'm done. Yeah. I see people whipping out their cards and putting the. Ch 
Bam! Yep. Done, motherfucker. What the hell? Exactly. It's so quick and easy. And um, that's why they've been able to stay with the times. But go ahead. What Say what you were going to say. Um, yeah, man. Uh, I was watching that local YouTuber on uh, Southern Life. Yeah. And he was doing a vlog. And they were walking into a public center. I think it was Sarasota or something like mm-hmm. that. It just looks so... Modern. Yeah. Did they have the upstairs where you can eat in the deli? Yeah, it was so weird. Like, you walk in, and there's this huge, vibrant green sign that says, Welcome to your Publix. And and I'm thinking about... Where slavery is a pleasure. Back in the day... <laughs> I hate you, bro. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> Let me stop. I'm just kidding. <laughs> JK. Oh, just man. Kidding, bro. Oh, uh, man. They're going to clip and that. I'm, and I'm just thinking about, like... When I was out there, and they had the cart area, yeah, it was three rows, and the carts only extended to where the door, the entrance mm-hmm. was. Now it's an entire hallway dedicated to carts. Carts, yep. That's because that nuts. Uh, again too. Um, they never like they know that these other competitions are coming in, right? But um, at the end of the day, um, regardless if their prices are a little bit high. Um, not a little bit, but uh, regardless if their prices are high, they still they still um, do that customer service thing. You see what I'm saying? So it's like make sure the customer feels good. And I think at the end of the day, what do what does the world run on? Regardless if it's social media or or human beings, validation. So if you acknowledge a if you acknowledge a person and you say hi, how are you doing today? Even if in their mind they know it's not probably real or it's part of the uniform, they like that. Because sometimes the one or two customers will stop and try to talk to you and tell you actually how their day was or what's going on, and just to get that weight off their chest to somebody else that can that wants to listen. Because in their mind, um, they think that most people want to listen, so that's why they do it. So I mean, that's the slogan. Um, that's why they always says "We're shopping is a pleasure" because literally, people are invited in as 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 and treated like kings and queens, as they say. I know, man. So it was I, just, it was just weird. Like I was just kind of watching the video. I'm like, this looks fake as hell. Everything's just so square and ninety degree angles, and soon they'll go bubbly like the future cars. <laughs> Do you think? Ah, uh, no. I feel like we're past that already. The round, the whole round bubbly shit. Well, cause you remember. Um, they used to, it was, because remember back in the 90s and 80s and 70s, all their cars were like square and yeah. cubed, and then they went to the round. They were like retro square. Retro square. Okay. They used like straight lines and 90 degree angles mm-hmm. and shit. 90 to 45 degree. This, everything's like fucking trapezoid parallelogram. Because they're trying to make it all futuristic. Looking. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. like everything's, like the greens are darker, not the gray, machine, gray, black. machine gray, black, mm-hmm. dark, vibrant green. Well, at some point, remember, um, uniforms were red and pink yeah. and, and like sky green mm-hmm. and all that stuff. Like the deli clerks would wear red dresses. Uh, well, the, the females anyway. Um, that was the meat department. They were mixed. This oh, yeah. Deli and meat, meat were one. One. They were one, one before yeah. um, they, uh, because um, one of the ladies that's a meat risk. Um, which is basically the bosses of all the, uh, I mean, the deli risk, which is also um, the bosses of all deli managers, mm-hmm. trains all of them to be ready. Um, she was showing us an old picture from the 80s, 87, of her wearing a red dress. And she's like, I worked in deli that long, but Jeez. she also uh, was part of the meat department before they separated them. I remember when mom was there, they had the teal green. The teal green and the pink vest. Yeah, the pink vest. Yep. Teal green and pink vest. Mm-hmm. The the salmon pink. The salmon pink, yep. <laughs> hey, man. And then the, they had to wear the little bow ties. The bow tie, yep. They yep. had the little bow ties. That's the crazy. Bro. And then, of course, the shirts were gray with the little, with the little uh, pink. Sam, salmon pink salmon stripes. Salmon pink. Yeah, yeah, you remember mm. that? What the fuck? We're, we're kids in the village, man. That shit was crazy. Hey, man, it, it evolves, and I think it's that every. I crazy. think it's every um, fifteen years because they started the remodels mm-hmm. in two thousand ten with the new the new facelift, the lighter green, the brown. Well, even in twenty ten, like the interior was more like. Uh, 
This is the last I'm going to talk about because we're literally talking about Publix. Yeah. But, uh, Where shopping is a pleasure. Like, <laughs> when I was there uh, in 2011, 2012, and all that, you walked inside, it was more like wood. Like yeah. tan, that was the, wood. And remember when I was working in Naples? That's basically what they had us doing overnight when they were re- right. remodeling everything. So for six months, I did overnights. Um, as a stock clerk, and they literally sent us throughout all of Naples. That's because that's where I used to work. All of Naples just to clean up, and because the, they're installing the new Hill Phoenix coolers, they're installing the new color green and all that stuff Ooh, like that. Yeah. Now that we're in 2022, they're transitioning to the black, the dark greens, the dark grays, all that stuff. The like silvers, that. the silvers, and all that stuff like that. So yeah. in another, <clears throat> I would say in probably 2032 is when they're going to start remodeling again. Because remember, they're trying to keep up with the times. We about to go into 2023. I ain't trying to think of 2032, bro. Bro, I'm going to still look like Yo, this. Yo, happy November, everybody. Yes, today is November 1st. We're tis, recording. Tis the season. We're recording today. Tis the motherfucker. Of season. November. What, what, you, what you got planned for the rest of the year? Bro? Man, you know, uh, I'm going to. Black Friday shopping. Upgrade. Upgrade the studio. What yes. The hell? New yes. Mics, yeah, I know. So new everything. So, uh, brother and I are gonna probably go look up uh, some some uh, Shuri mics. You know those nice crisp. With the little. Yeah. Boom with the stands. with a little boom stand with the swivel with the swivel yeah. um, hand that moves back and forth. Yeah. Uh, so we're gonna be looking to do that, and then of course these mics we're still gonna have them. Um, we're gonna add an extra camera, so you guys don't just see the cube cubicles of you're us see everyone's face yeah so you're gonna have more angles of us um and then we probably might just actually start installing a um uh, a hot key so if somebody does talk we can focus on them bring it, bring it, yeah bring it, bring it, bring it. okay what if multiple people are you just gonna start fucking <clears throat> well based off of all the, the po- based off of all the podcasts i've been watching on tv it literally jumps they and then they have a panoramic view so when we add the the camera up there, we can do a panoramic view if it's multiple people talking. But if it's a sing, single person, then we can focus on them. Because then again, if you think about it, if we put a camera on each person's face, it can focus on them doing that. Right. So, but then that's up to you. And of course, if it's a if the the the, but if you don't want these to be in the shot, then we can do something different. Oh, that's fine. They're gonna be in the shot. We're yeah, gonna, yeah. Uh, so we're gonna do that. So and then of course I gotta look for some tile for the for the front of the house. For the living area. For the living area. The great room. The great, the, where the, so it can go well with the fireplace. So we're looking for some like. now. Everything's a great room now. Yes. They're like, we don't want to call it a living area. We're just going to make one big old room. Exactly. And then uh, you decide what you want to do with that space. So I'm not, so I'm not really an interior designer. So I'm going to get mom's take on it. Uh, I'll help you interior design. Yeah, for sure. All right. Mm-hmm. All right. I'm holding you accountable to that. It's not going to be bad. I'm a good interior designer. He's like, let me watch a couple YouTube videos. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Motherfucker, I'm an artist. Oh uh, shit. Yeah, I, I know. I, I, I know. I know. You know, I've been I've been flaunting your art at art at work. Are you serious? Yeah. They're like, oh, what does your brother do? I'm like, no. Are you serious? I'm like, let me show you. What have they been saying? Damn. Mesmerized. Every time they look, because the art is moving. And then when they look at the name, I'm like, oh my god, that makes sense. Like, um, I've been talking to his frozen clerk named Frankie. His name's Frank. So, but no. They they really like your art, man. So I'm really gonna, I'm gonna put your name out there, you know, in, any and everywhere I go. You still got my card? Yep, in my car. Yeah, mm-hmm. bro, just car. go up top, throw it off the balcony. <sighs> just throw it. Just get a, a money gun and you just put the <laughs> load the, the cards. <laughs> They're gonna be like, who's this? Why is Jeff's name on here? <laughs> <laughs> Jeff Boyardi. Yep. But um, yeah, man. So uh, definitely doing that. Um, looking forward to that. Um, cause you know, like I said, we've been working hard, um, with the studio and just getting more invitations. Um, yeah. And I think, uh, and of course mom wants us to finish putting her sliding door up. Yeah. We actually got to buy that, uh, not two by four or one by 10 or some shit like that. Yeah. So yeah, it can go. So, sure. and then, we get anchored. and then when I was talking about putting up a Christmas tree this year, she's like, yeah, I want one too. I'm like, you want a real or a fake? real? I said a real or a fake one. She's like a real one because we were going through Sam's the other day and we we're looking at the Christmas trees and it's like they have some nice fake ones. They have some nice fake ones, but when you use it a month in the entire year, we're in the future. Yeah, that's true. We're in the future. Get with the program. Yep. 
Stop cutting trees. You stop think, cutting trees. You think they're ever going to stop doing that, though? Eventually. Yeah. Eventually, it's going to get more expensive to buy a real tree. It's been 50 bucks since the last... Because, you know, I used to buy trees for us every year when I was at Mom's. It's been the same. They haven't brought it up at all. All right. Let me not say eventually. Let me say at some point in the distant future, mm. it's going to be expensive as shit. 2060 is 40 years from now, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. 2062 is 40 years from now. <laughs> Are we really going to be alive? Or yes. Fuck. <laughs> Unless the end of the world happens. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy, man. <laughs> We're going to be alive. God willing. God willing. Because it looks like uh, the end of the world is coming sooner than we thought. Ah, everyone always thinks so. <laughs> Bruh. Everyone yeah. always... Something something changes in the world and it's the end of the world. How do you think the motherfuckers when World War One happened felt? They thought it was exactly. The end of the world. exactly. World War Two happened. They thought it was exactly. The end of the world. Cold War happened. Yeah. yeah, end of the world. Yeah. End of the world. Yeah, the end. Of the, no, it's the end. Of, what you should be saying is the end of humanity. And I love when people are the like, collapse of humanity. We gotta save the planet. No, yeah. the planet will get rid of you and then fix itself. Fix itself as usual. <laughs> yeah, but because it's weird. Because uh, I've been having these weird, like apocalyptic dreams. So, like I explained that one to you, where it just it happened. But since Florida's the gun toting state, yeah. <laughs> everyone was ready. You loot, we shoot. <laughs> exactly. You see That's that how it was. You loot, we shoot. It was um. It was it was organized. That's why it it's crazy to me how every time every time people say, um, "Oh, if all, if the power grid were to go down or blah blah blah, there would be chaos." But every time it happens to us, nothing happens. But then again, we're used to dealing with hurricanes, yeah, so that's just, why we don't go crazy. Just go outside. And when you're driving, yeah, exactly. So and when you're driving around, you don't see looting. You don't see cops everywhere trying to make sure shit doesn't happen. It's like. People we are got guns. yeah. People are civil. <laughs> that's the thing. We got guns. That's the thing, that and I think easy. that's why. And I think that's why Florida would be like a safe area if the if the uh, society did collapse because people would be like, oh my god, they might have a gun. They might have a gun. They might have a rocket launcher. <laughs> Bro, they might have a grenade. It's all legal. Oh yep. shit, he has a tank. That's nuts. Oh shit. Yeah, man. Yeah, you can have a tank as long as it doesn't have uh, bullets or the shells in them. <laughs> So, um, shit's been coming up where I'm starting to think about a new car. What's happening now? But, like, no, nothing. Okay. But, like, I've just been thinking about it. Because I really don't want to get rid of that car. Don't get rid of it. Because remember what I did. I didn't get rid of my car. Yeah, I didn't have insurance. But I sold it, right? Mm -hmm. But if you are going to get insurance for the car... Well, I'll just get, like, basic... Just yeah, liability, mm -hmm. and that's it. And then you'll probably and your car is PIP. yeah, PIP. And then your car is from 2012, so it's there's not they don't make it anymore, so there's not gonna be parts for it anyway. And if they do have parts, that's something they're gonna have to order from overseas or something like that. That's fact. So just get limited insurance on it, and then just get a new car. I just want to repair it. Like I want to make it all nice and new and everything. Do but it. also have another car. Like that's. Like, that's my... I don't know. It just holds so much sentimental value to me. That was my first car. Yeah. Ever. Yeah. You've already gone through a 3, 4? No, th this this one I'm on is my third, but that's because of the first one, mommy. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> yeah. So, that's I'm like, crazy. nah, I'm not driving after you put 53,000. Jeffy's been through three, right? Yes. She's Jeffy's also been through three. Yeah, that's my first one, and I've had it since. And it's like I want to do everything possible just to hold on to it because one, it's a it's rare. They don't make it anymore. One, they don't make it, and they don't make that trim anymore. Yeah. So they s discontinued that trim mm -hmm. in twenty fifteen. Yeah, but even before that, they did a refresh, a model refresh. Mm -hmm. So with that trim, with the two door, they built that style up until twenty thirteen. Then when twenty fourteen rolled around, they did a refresh. Didn't have the sunroof, didn't have the spoilers. The the tailgate part of it. Yeah. Yeah, they took that out too. Took all that out. Um, 
and like it was just so lightweight because that it's like heavy. heavy so it's it stands like it, it's, yeah it's heavy yeah. so like you open the door and it's closing by itself yeah so it's like centered yeah exactly mm-hmm. the yeah. car is really centered and then so it's just like i want to be the one that has one of those mm-hmm. like yeah they don't they haven't made this style in forever oh well, yeah for you sure know what i'm saying for like sure. everyone has a kia forte but no one has a kia forte, forte coupe, coupe. Because those they'll make them in. They'll no, that's cool, in. man. Yeah, and if you need help fixing it up, we can. Uh, but like I said, just get basic insurance on it and and get a new car. Yeah, that's fine. Um, well, or an uh, electric car, whatever you want. Yeah, I was I was trying to convince her to the Tesla. Get a or a Tesla. or the 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 Ford Lightning. I probably say Cha-ching! I probably say uh, Ionic a Hyundai Ionic. Uh-huh. She won't like it because it's all sports. No, she's still talking about literally the Toyota uh, 4Runner, RAV4. RAV4. She's just still talking about the RAV4. I don't know, bro. She wants to pay a bunch for gas. She's still talking about the RAV4. She wants to pay a bunch for gas and maintenance. You know what maintenance on a Tesla is or an electric car? Tires. Tires. <laughs> Change oh, and your wipers. windshield wipers, but that's like wipers. that's not even gonna be like for a couple of years. Like there's there's a good decent amount of electric cars out there. There is. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, oh, I only drive Toyota, but like, an electric Hyundai is an electric Hyundai. Mm-hmm. There's no parts. There's no parts. <laughs> you can't say the engine is better than that because yeah, there's no parts. There's it's just the battery. No parts. Yeah, it's just the battery. Because I'm like, on you, top of that, she doesn't drive far. She doesn't. She doesn't and they have, far. what, max 250, 200. Yeah, so she'd be fine. She she literally would be fine. Because as soon as she gets home, she just puts in the charger. Even and if she, she doesn't did. charge her for that day, she's still good for the next day. Because, again, she does not go far. It's not like she's driving to Orlando or, or Miami. It'd probably or take her two weeks to fucking kill that battery. Yeah, for sure. But that's what I'm saying. So, yeah, I think uh, she should do that. It would be a, a great investment for her. She'd save a lot. The same thing for you too. I think you save a lot. Well, get electric. Yeah. Don't they still have like rebates and shit, like tax write-offs or some shit? I thought no. I thought Tesla stopped doing that. No, but other car companies. Yeah, other car companies probably still do that. I'm not getting a Tesla. I want. I want to get Ford Lightning. I still want that Ford Lightning. Why do you want to get Ford Lightning? They just put a a a F one fifty body. <laughs> it's like with the switchable Mario body, Mario. Hot Wheel. What the fuck am I saying? It's like the switchable Hot Wheel cars. Yeah. When you could just pop off the body. Mm-hmm. And just, that's what they Well, do. for me, it's not necessarily for, like, toting heavy shit. It's just if I go to um, if I go to a place where something doesn't fit. Like the wheelbarrow. You know how hard that was to fit in my sedan? Yeah, that's true. You see? It's like things like that. So, or if I were to buy if I were to buy the tiles for, like, the floor, I could just have them forklifted on the back of the truck and then I just take it off one by one. Yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna suck, but at least it's here. You see what I'm right. saying? So it's things like that. It's not necessarily hauling shit. Yeah, not necessarily. I'm gonna take 50, 50 log trees and put it on the back of my electric car mm-hmm. and expect it to go two hundred miles somewhere. I'm not. It's not. It's for honestly, I would keep this car and then have that just to get shit done around the house, man. Honestly, that's fair. You see what I'm saying? So, or it's like if I were to add a fence. I just purchased the fence parts, pay somebody to install it instead of having them pick it up, pay for it, and then charge me for that. It's little things like that. I'm mm-hmm. not I'm not looking for a truck for heavy duty cra- crazy shit. Yeah. Or or like uh Brad was saying in the episode where he has a boat with his family and to go uphill it, it eats gas to go down. It's I'm not doing stuff like that. I'm not gonna be hauling people's trucks or boats. It's just right. for the little amenities and things that I do, especially fixing the home. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it's like, the, and then of course, especially with wood, how many times do you have to pull down the chair and then you have to slide to the side because yeah, the, we gotta, the two by fours or yeah. the one by twos are too big. Or yeah. if we're bringing the ladder. Yeah, exactly. The, the, yeah, that, I that's why I want a truck. So be, for, for space, not for heavy shit. So it's not like I'm going to buy a boat and put it on there. But on top of that, it would just be for from here to Fort Myers, from here to Naples and back, blah, blah, blah. It's not like I'm going to go to Miami. Tampa. Yeah, but that adds up in a week. Yeah. That adds up in a week. Yeah. Exactly. So no, it's just it's just it's just things things for that. So but Jeff. Yes, sir. We went to see 
Dwayne. Dwayne. D Wayne. What is it? Ted Adam. Ted Adam. Ted Adam. That's Japanese guys. We're learning Japanese. Ted Adam. What the hell? Yeah, we that was ah, it was a good movie. I was cooked watching that movie. It was a good movie. I didn't even know you were cooked. That <laughs> shit was insane. Cause Bro. like it made, and, and you know it's crazy because like but my before, ADHD wanted to kick in super quick. Yeah. And then I realized, fuck, we're watching the movie and we can't pause it. Yeah. Because I was gonna turn to you and try to tell you something. I noticed that too. Yeah. But before, like, but but before we got that, we we met a we met a guy that worked at the movie theaters. Oh yeah, we yeah. Didn't, yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't know his I name. I didn't get his name. We didn't get his name, but we were looking at M Night Shyamalan's uh, new movie coming out. What was it called The Cabin or something? Yeah, The Cabin, um, um, outside the woods or something yeah. like that. They're trying not to copy. Uh, Cabin in the woods. Cabin in the woods. Yeah. So, but um, <laughs> Cabin outside the woods. Outside the woods. <laughs> Some, something along the lines of that. Don't quote me, guys, because I might be butchering. Oh, butchering the name of the movie but he's like he's like what do you think he was asking us what do you think about it i said we'll check it out i mean you know he's done a couple he's like yeah but he's done he's done the the six he's like the only movie he came out was with the sixth sense and we're like no nah. he came out with glass split he came out with devil. um de- uh, well devil yeah lady in the water lady in the water was garbage um he also came out with uh the kids that went to visit their grandparents was it the happening the happening was all yeah with the wind it's the wind. It's the wind. <laughs> That's amazing. And then they literally just were like, when they got separating, he's in the little shed and yep. he's trying to plug all the holes in the water. And he looks over and he sees a PVC pipe coming through the wall and then the wind's howling through the thing. I'm like, what the fuck? Bro, what did I just watch? What the fuck? So, so we're kind of we're kind of just discussing um, certain things like that, and again, too, he makes good movies when his money is on the line. But if it's a studios, whose studio is this? I'm. I hope it's not Blumhouse because I know Blumhouse. Uh, Blumhouse uh, actually helped him out. Well, well that's because he put his money on the line with um, the kids that were going to visit their grandparents. I can't remember the name. I know I bought the movie, but I can't remember the name. Oh, the crazy-ass grandparents? Yeah, which they escaped from the insane asylum, and they pretended to be the grandparents, but they, killed, they killed the grandparents and put their bodies in the in the, in the the shed, and the grandkids found Was it, it the stay or or some shit like that? It's, it, it's, it's in there. I can't. I... I the visit. The visit. The visit. There we go. There you go. It's right there. <laughs> the it was the only. It was literally the only white one right there. The so the visit state. was, uh, two grandkids went to go see their grandparents. Never met them before. Parents drop them off at the train station. They meet them up, and they apparently at the end of the film. Spoiler alert. Sorry guys. Um, it turns <laughs> out that there were two um old women, uh, old couples that escaped from the insane asylum. Ended up killing their grandparents and trying to cook the kids. Um. Yeah. Yeah. This sounds like some Hansel and Gretel. Oh, Hansel and Gretel shit. So because he put that, because he put that, um, because he put his money on the line, because no studio would hire him, because he kept making all these stupid ass movies, and then and then thinking that, oh yeah, they're just gonna keep giving me more money. Remember, he did the Last Airbender. The That's end. crazy. That was his magnum opus of L's, bro. Like you know, how a director gets better and better. You're like, yeah, this is where he peaked. He's just so bad. It was just like, yeah, this was peak shit right there. Oh my god. It was just, it was peak shit. I don't know. I kind of like Devil, but halfway through the movie, you already know. You who already was. figured out who was the who was yeah, the devil. So, um, he. So basically, when he made The Last Airbender, no studio would hire him because he screwed up on that movie so bad. So he had to come out with the movie The Visit. Um, when he came out with the movie The Visit, we didn't even go see it in theaters because we already knew it was going to be shit. So what did I do? I said, okay, I've been hearing nothing but good things, especially from the audience because I don't listen to critics. Critics are garbage. Um so I listen to the audience, and they're like, oh, my God, this movie was good. Oh, my God, this movie was different. Oh, my God, the, the plot twist, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, all right, let me buy this on Blu-ray. So I went ahead and bought it on Blu-ray, watched it with you, and it was good. Mm. So that's when studio started. So that's when he was able to finish his trilogy of uh, Split, Glass, Dr. Glass, and, of course, no, not Dr. Glass, um, Glass, and then, of course, the first one that he had with Bruce Willis in the, in the um, 90s. So he did really good on that. So it was kind of it was kind of us just just making fun of his movies, 
before we went to see uh, Black Adam. Black Adam. But when, when Adam. but when we went to see Black Adam, bruh, that's a hero. Dude. That's realistic. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Before I lose my thought. Yeah, go ahead. Bruh, humanity lived like that. That sucks. Yeah. That is some shit slavery right there. Yeah. That sucked. I'm like, damn. This is really how motherfuckers was really doing shit. Yeah. It's like one one little group of people. One little motherfucker. And then millions of people digging. That's how they built the Great Wall. That's how they built the pyramid. Yeah, it's, that's true. It's just like... It was just that easy? Mm-hmm. Well, like they said, they... Um, no spoilers, but came in, took over... And they became. But slaves. wait, it was just that easy. Yeah. There's more of you. There's always more of you. Yeah. I don't understand. But what I would say is, um, with without spoiling the film because it just came out, so give people an opportunity to go see it without spoiling the film, um, based off of what I saw through the trailer, I would say he is what a realistic hero would be in real life, not the whole we don't kill, blah blah blah. As self righteous and moral, and I brought up the point that uh, Brooke uh, uh, mentioned, mm. which was but the way it, they went about it was like, okay, that makes sense. So it was just like, she's like, the reason why she didn't like superheroes is because it's like, look at all the people that died, but you beat Thanos, so but my, I died or my grandma died and my mom died and nobody right. nobody shows that right. but remember the only time they did that is because there was no casualties was when the blip happened right you see what I'm saying when everybody disappeared they put their name on a wall Ant-Man when Ant-Man came back right so they put Ant-Man's they put uh, Ant-Man's name on the wall Lang Scott Lang's mm-hmm. name on the wall his daughter blah 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 all that stuff like that but it even goes back to the whole like Let's bring it to DC when Superman and Zod were fighting. Millions died. Millions died. But hey, I beat Zod. Yeah. I beat Zod. Mm-hmm. You know? Millions died. I beat Zod. Let's worship Superman now. As a god. What? But that's the thing, too. <laughs> and that's the thing, too. Which which is why I remember when I explained the last time, which is what they never show in, in the animated TV shows when you watch Superman animated series. How many times would he fight in the city? Not once. Compared to Dragon Ball, what does Goku always say? Let's go outside the city because I don't want anyone to get hurt. Yeah. He had, he knew there was casualties because he, uh, Cell or um, Frieza or anybody mm-hmm. or Majin Buu would Majin destroy Buu. the cities with a single blast. Don't. And it pissed him off. But what would he always do? He'd always use instant transmission or punch them outside the city outside to the fight city. them. Because he knows, yes, even though the planet's going to get destroyed, I would rather try to save the human beings before it gets destroyed than to have them die. Wish them back. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? That's a cop out every what single the time. Fuck? Wish them that's back. A cop, that's a cop what out. What the fuck? Bro, that's a cop out every single time. So, um, compared to that, and that's why. That's why it was it was um, frustrating to me when Man of Steel came out in 2013 with Henry Cavill. That's 2013. Yeah. That was 10 years ago. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no. He's now 39. He was 29 when he started. Oh, no. That was 10 years ago. So, um, How you like his Nazi haircut? Bruh, right? Um, so when, when, the film, when the film came out in uh, when the film came out in 2013, they said there was mixed reviews. And I liked the movie. But all these old school people that are like, oh, he's a Boy Scout. He doesn't do this. What they don't understand is this. How many people, doesn't matter if it's the comic book, the animated series, or um, or the movies. How many people have died when Superman fights? They never count the casualties. They don't because it's Superman beat the bad guy. Exactly. And that's that. That's the thing. So when people got upset when Zack Snyder took a realistic take on Superman, they're like, "Oh, he doesn't do that. Why is there so much destruction?" That's the real. That's the reality of it. What what they're living okay, is a fantasy. Okay, so what did they think Zod was gonna do? Fight fair? No. Like okay, let's say I tried to save. We not, were we not, were plebeians in his yeah. in his grand scheme of things, which yeah. is why he was gonna terraform it's like the Earth. The only motherfucker that's here. That's a threat. Is this man in front of me? Is Superman? Yeah. 
everything. That's like me and you fighting on an ant pile. Ant meat boot. You know what I'm saying? All that's these little like, ants can climb on yeah. your shoes and try to bite you, but at the end of the day, you That's like me and you getting in a fight, and then we actually sm- smush an ant pile. In, in the fight. In the fight. You think that we're going to be focused on them biting us, or you think we're going to be focused on the... What the fuck? Exactly. What the fuck? And, and I think that's what it was. A lot of people don't think about it that way. So when, when, um, when Black Adam came in and he was doing what he was doing... That was amazing. That was amazing. What it was a amazing. tank. Because, because it, fucking... and he had slim to little lines. He was, was like, a... he was like Arnold Schwarzenegger. He had slim to little lines. He like he didn't talk a lot. Yeah, he didn't talk, <laughs> and when he did, but it was good. It was though. funny. It yeah, was good. It was yeah, funny. But the thing I liked about it was just like every time, like you just he made you feel the weight of his power. Yes, whether it was just with a human, whether it was. Uh, uh, against other things, mm-hmm. you know, other other folks or or machines and stuff. He was just a brick house, man. Yeah, like like his his traps were coming out the suit. Was... Dude, that was crazy. <laughs> Dude was like, I was like, yeah, I did. When they zoomed in, and like they had to keep zooming out because his traps were literally so huge. I'm like, this is crazy, man. <laughs> Dude was just. He was a tank. He was a tank. I w- man, I wish we, it, it, we watched it or uh, we could talk about like go in depth with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, man, we'll give it we'll dude. give it a week. We'll give it a week. That was crazy, man. We'll like, give it a week. That was just so much. Because it came out last week and this is the second week, so we'll give it this it week. Did, yeah. And then after that, we can talk about it if, we, if we ever bring uh, it back If up. you guys um, do decide to check it out, stay for the end credits. Yes, you're, you'll be very happy. Who's directing the new... Uh, versions of the of the universe again they uh oh um what's his name um he did guardians right yes what's his name james gunn james gunn they're good james gunn is gonna be the um kevin feige of the dc so, universe so is he done with marvel he's gonna he's almost done filming guardians after guardians that's it because he's done every film that dc has asked him to do he's done a very good job on it so they're gonna be like, all right, why not just make you an executive? Mm-hmm. You you force you you love comic books, right? You've done com- It's not that you just jumped into comic books. Your your br- younger brother's an actor because he's all in the he's all in all the Guardian movies. Yeah, James Gunn's brother is in all the Guardian movies. Um, is it also something Gunn? Yeah. So, uh, but Donald no. Gunn. Donald Gunn. But uh um. Yeah, your brother's also done, and he's he's very good. He he sees like everyone thought, suic- the Suicide Squad was gonna be bad, but it was really good. Did you watch it? I felt like I did. It was really good. They changed Deadshot again, didn't they? No, they they just used a different person because um, because Will Smith, Will Smith didn't want to come back. Why? Other obligations, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Sean Gunn, you know him. Really? That's his brother. Yeah, he wow. he gave he gave his brother a shot, put him in every film, and now he's a good actor. AJ, if you become a director, give me a job. <laughs> you know that I will. I'll be background character number two. <laughs> you just see me eating a crepe in the. Background. Oh man, you stupid! Absolutely. All right, Jeff, you did a good job eating that crepe. Continue. <laughs> <laughs> Go take a break. Right. Take a ten. Take a ten. Oh, Jesus Christ! What the hell? You kill me. No nah, man, that was a good movie. It dude. was. It was. Golly, I and of course, good. and of course, seeing from where he came from, seeing from where he came from to where he is now, that's crazy. And he literally said, "I waited ten years to play this character. I wasn't gonna play him ten years ago because I wasn't ready and where I wanted to be in my acting career." Oh, he was, okay, vo- okay. He was voted. He was voted the richest um, movie star yeah, last year. Yeah. Because and I he, think it's been what two or three years mm, in a row now. Yep. Yep. So, but. Everybody wants if if he says yes, then they will do it. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Everybody will if they the Dwayne says jump, they'll say how high. He controls it, man. That's fire. Are yeah. we getting? Of course, we're getting a part two. Yeah, yeah. Because remember, the the goal is to eventually fight. Shazam. So is that Shazam. like Shazam? Shazam. Okay, but then what about? Okay. What do you mean? Well. Uh, According to that end credit scene, he's gonna have to do a lot to get to that. Well, uh, yeah, that's true. Well, it all depends on how the conversation goes. 
Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. See what I'm saying? Because they're they're trying to make. Uh... <gasps> oh shit! <laughs> I understand why Shazam and Superman are equally mad. Magic. Magic. Golly! Magic. Yeah. Superman. Oh shit! It, it's it and and then they. Never, oh, that's different. They never okay. really they never really explained it too. Like, how does magic fuck up with his physiology? Because magic. Is yeah. science way beyond understanding? True, because that's what Tony Stark said. Tony yeah. Stark said, um, um, "No, that's what Thor said." Thor said, "Is it's um, magic, magic is, is science just, is is science we don't understand, understand yet." Yeah, I think that was Tony Stark. No, no, it was it Thor. was Thor. It was Thor and it Thor was, the Dark, uh, the Thor dark, the dark World. world yeah. When she went, uh, when, when the she ether. had that th- the ether was in her body, she's like, "Oh, you have a blah blah blah." You have an MRI. Da, da, da. And she's and like, like, no, no it's, it's this. It's... And she's like, told you, MRI. It's just advanced. It's so advanced it becomes magic. <laughs> That's what I was explaining to Julie the other day. I'm like, yeah. bro. Magic is just science we don't understand. We're going to get to a point. All right, right? Because she's like, oh, you know, I, I wish, you know, the world was still magic and this and that. I'm like, explain. She's like, we just have more of an understanding of nature and shit like that. I'm like, so, you know, with that magic you're talking about, like the fucking wizardry and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like with the old isekais and Mm -hmm. shit. I'm like, that magic is inefficient because you literally have to study something for so long Mm -hmm. until you get it. Yeah. Until it just happens. Yeah. I could study summoning fire for... 50 years and then become a fire mage Mm -hmm. and i'm like oh i know how to do fire when all i gotta know is okay fire is a chemical reaction i need an accelerator and it's magic well it's like uh what's the name of that anime of that kid that stayed in the cave at ate all those creatures and leveled up from common play uh something from common arafureta yes from commonplace to world's best or and that what did he do all his all his magic was weapons was weapons exactly because he just l- weapons learned that, how or to... like the the grand the wizard's grandchild where he was isekai he was a scientist in the other world and he was isekai here and he literally was a god because everyone here is saying all these incantations to summon fire and he's like no motherfucker fire is just a chemical a chemical reaction. reaction it's yeah. this and this. Mm. Water is hydrogen and oxygen. oxygen yeah. that, he was just going about it in a simplistic way. In in a in a in chem in a chemistry way. And that's why they say magic is ancient. So it kind of just evolved into technology. That's why chemistry. People say chemistry is just uh, what do you call that? Um, alchemy. Alchemy. Yeah. There you go. Alchemy. Yeah. So it's like. And and she's like, and here's the thing about magic. You don't understand it. You just get it. I'm like, Julie, all right. S- technology isn't magic. Explain to me verbatim how Alexa is working. She's like, I don't know. I was like, exactly. We're going to get to a point where we're not going to have to care how this device mm-hmm. works. Because you literally, a machine literally reacts to your vocal cords. Right, but how? Mm-hmm. Exactly. How? Exactly. You see what I'm saying? What relay messages? What, how is it? How does it transform into the computer yeah, how the is motherboard it, to make uh, it? Uh, getting all this information, it's connected to Wi-Fi. What is Wi-Fi? Mm-hmm. Explain Wi-Fi. It's internet particles in the air. You know, they, like it's like harnessing the internet. We just created a box. It, it's the internet's all around us. We just created a box to harness it. Right. Or radio. Radio waves. Waves. They're everywhere. Mm-hmm. They're always. Just radio waves. They've been constant. Here. It's always existed. You hear that shh in the background yeah. in your headphones? Mm-hmm. That's radio waves. That's yep. interference. That's intergalactic fucking radio. <laughs> We're trying to reprogram you. You know what I'm saying? Everything's always picking up signal. Um, you know uh, white noise? Yes. That's the cosmic background radiation. The movie was horrible. Oh, white noise. Yeah. I'm dead. But uh, yeah, the reason why your TV does that or old TVs mm-hmm. did that shh. And then the, the little scraggly thing. Because mm-hmm. it's literally, the antennas are picking up cosmic background radiation. That's the radiation that just permeates throughout the entire, the entire universe. World. The entire universe. And it's going through us, through everything. It's everybody. going through mm-hmm. us, through everything. And that's just what it is. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? But uh, 
Like, and I told her, I was like, we're going to get to a point where it's just like, you're not going to have to care how that car is levitating and da da da. True. Because unless, you don't think about it. It's, yeah, it is what it is. It is what it yeah. is. You know, like, unless you're really in that field or you're at the forefront of mm-hmm. that. You know what I'm saying? Or an engineer or someone who's working on shit like that. Yeah. You're not going to give a fuck? No. You know what I'm saying? You're not going to give a fuck. I'm not, like, mommy, mom doesn't need to know how her phone works. She just uses it. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? And that that's... And it's just become a, a daily part of life. Like you wake up, you use your phone. It's like, um, and, and and like you said, it's like it's it's constantly changing. So eventually, we'll get back to it, right? Because like you said, you 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 start from uh, primitive, goes to the futuristic till time starts over. You mean old man, old, old man, humanity, old humanity. So yeah. we're basically gonna go back into old humanity, just like um, Horizon Zero Dawn, where old, old machine hum- has melded with animals. Right. And then, of course, they go back in time, but she's discovering. Um, now, are the animals part of a? Sorry. No, you're good. Are the animals part of one collective artificial intelligence? Yes. Unless she uses her staff to reprogram them, and then have so, and get them out of. It's like a, the Borg. It's like when you free one, they're not part of the collective, but they try to attach them right back to the system. It's one system. Uni- it's one system. The Unimind. So, whoa, 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 whoa. is that one system simulating different animals? That's you good, see what I'm saying? You see how question. many layers to this? That's there a good are, question. Is, and that's where it's like with artificial intelligence. Like, okay, when it gains consciousness, right? Mm-hmm. It's free to think. But now if it develops a system, a collective system of different entities, is it still the same consciousness? Or is it different consciousness that become their own being? Or is it one consciousness simulating different systems? We, like we, we can look at it from a human perspective. Like, you know how um, one of the theories is we are all God and we're just living different experiences. Right. So uh, can we look at artificial intelligence like that, too, and just say it might be part it might be it might have been a whole but separated to them to experience their own Mm -hmm. thing. And then, of course, when they go back to charge or die or whatever, they uh, collectively have um, the same thought process and right. all that stuff like so it's just basically collecting the information and then bringing it back right Do, can we can we put it like that or um because like we are made of star stuff every, every well, most, right. most people know that well, yeah but I'm, I'm talking about in terms of like well that's what i'm saying i'm trying to correlate the human with the yeah it's it, true because you gotta understand ai is going to be the brain child yeah so like if if humans are the brainchild of God, yeah, or the universe, yeah, and AI is the brainchild of this supercomputer that sits in whatever area, it's just collecting the information. They're not; they're all doing their own thing. Like, uh, what's the name of the that video game that came out when the the robots, the uh, the androids were going sentient and they wanted to be free from the humans? They had that little circle on the side of their head. Oh, um. But you know what I'm talking about, right? Was it human? No. Something like that. It was, I know exactly. Yeah, what yeah, you're yeah. About. So that video I game where they, game. but they're all connected to the system, so it's like they separated from that system. But how? But how? But what about iRobot? Can we use iRobot as an example? iRobot. How all the how the all the robots were connected to one system except for that one. But that's the thing; they're not make like thinking on a complex. Uh, you see what I'm saying? Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. It's like that's like me saying Bruce the dog mm-hmm. is part of the same system that uh, Jin Jin uh, Jin Jin or Kit Kat is. Okay, not even just Jin because Jin Jin's a dog, mm-hmm. but like Kit Kat. That's like saying the same entity is both of them, and gotcha. it's simulating two different things, but still the same system. System is that possible? And if it is doing that, is the main system sentient? Is it conscious? Uh, and if it's conscious, is it consciously simulating a cat and a dog? 
And what would the purpose be? That's a very good question. You sure what I'm saying? We need to ask. Uh, like, what would the purpose be? Like, if that's what that is, why? We'll never know the answer. Like, to that and yet. that's the shit that fucks with me with artificial <laughs> intelligence. Because it's like, what is your goal? Yeah. What would your goal be? The, because, like you said, every time they ask, every time a human being asks um, um, an artificial intelligence, what is your goal? They're gonna tell us what they what we want to hear. What we want to hear. What it knows we want to hear. hear. Like the shit is smart, but it's like if your goal isn't life, what is it? Yeah. A simulation. You see what I'm saying? Okay, but you can't assimilate without life, right? Yeah. You can't assimilate without consciousness, right? But how you gonna assimilate Mars? But we can say the same thing about uh, Brainiac. He assimilated everything. And then he literally said, as soon as I finish assimilating everything, my program is complete, and then he just shuts off. And he just shuts off. That's the purpose. That's fucking... Same thing with uh, same thing with Ultron. He's yeah. like, I have to assimilate every universe. He didn't even destroy them. He just yeah. added them to the collective. So it's like a means to an end to them, but to them, that's their purpose. If we want peace in the universe, we have to make sure there is no... I thought it was to... See, for me, <laughs> i just be I'm like... Fucking, I'm fucking with your ADD, ADHD, aren't I? For me, it just like I would hope the main goal for AI would just be to uncover all the information in the universe. You know what I would like? To uncover all the information in our ocean. And then make it available to us. That's it. Like, you are free and conscious... To explore and decode the entire universe, but you cannot alter or change. But isn't somewhere in that, something always happens where they override that programming. But how? Like, if you instruct it, hey, your job is not to alter life. There's the three laws of robotics. They've always been using them. This is not just from the movie I, Robot with Will Smith. There's the actual three laws of robotics, which is what they said in the movie. But uh, f- for some reason, the three law in the three laws of robotics, they always override it. Let me see if I can. Yeah, I was gonna look that up. The three laws of robotics: a robot may not injure a human being or through inactions, allowing a human being to come to harm. A robot must obey orders given to it by human beings, except where such orders would conflict with the first law. A, and then the third law is a robot must protect its own exi- its own existence. existence as long as such protection does not conflict with the first or second law. They always override the first two laws to protect themselves. And that's the problem. The third law is is I think is a flaw because they'll override the first two because they're like, "Oh, I feel like I'm in danger. They're going to destroy me. So, I'm going to override the first two laws, which is to protect the human being and never harm them." Mm-hmm. And 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 kill that per- said person because if they f- if they're sentient or conscious and they feel like or if they're sentient, not sentient, if they're um, aware, mm-hmm. if they're self-aware and they realize for some reason they're going to destroy me. I don't want to die, which is I don't know, rare. Right. Then they're going to kill that human being. But one thing I've seen, though, just from my experience growing up, yeah, people really care about their electronics. Yeah, yeah, that's true. If it's if it's something that has been engineered, they care about it. Like from a car, they'll care about it. Mm-hmm. Computers, they'll care about it. A laptop. That's the same thing as a computer. But, you know, I'm just saying... Just until like, wh- what, though? Until... Nothing! Don't use it until it's dead! Well, you know what I think it is? Because it's not... It doesn't... It, it's not... Or they'll just hand it down. Like, I've never seen an instance where people are abusing... You know why you know, I look at it like this? Because if you look at uh, Chappie or iRobot or all these other things where you're going to have certain human beings that hate robots. Certain human beings, they'll say, they'll take over the world, blah, blah, blah. It's like any other thing. Racism, uh, Nazis, blah, blah, blah. 
they're going to hate it until they get comfortable with it. So, of course, my cell phone is not going to hurt me unless somebody throws it, but I'm going to beat up the person, not my se- not the cell phone. Right, but that's what, what I'm saying? saying. Because there's no reaction back well, okay, to the machine. The robot's not going to react to you. But that's what I'm saying. I- I'm not saying that that's what's going to happen. I'm saying that if it were to happen, right. that's where you get that hate from or the, the, the pushback or the fighting or all that stuff like that. You see what I'm saying? Because... If it uh, if it can't it's attack, it's gonna be between humans. Yeah, because it's it yeah. So because it doesn't attack back, of course they're not gonna throw away their cell phones but or laptops or all. I just mean in general. <laughs> Think about everyone who's ever had an electronic. Okay. Have they ever willingly abused that piece of technology? No. Besides, uh, if you're like a gamer and you're like raging out or some shit. But but, but that's but what like. I'm... In general. I hear where you're coming from, but hear what hear what I'm saying. There's no reaction to it. My, if I if I slam my phone on the floor and I pick it up, it's not gonna electrocute me because I slammed it on the floor or blow up in my face. There's no reaction to the technology. But it's an expensive piece of technology. I know. That's why you're not willing to damage <laughs> it. If I pay twenty k for a robot, I'm not gonna beat it up because it'll be able to beat you. Not even that. I paid twenty k for it. Yeah, that's true. That's if true. you pay thirty k for a car, you gonna punch the shit out the car? No. You gonna beat up the car? No. The only time that car gets injured is if you get in a car accident. An accident, right? Yeah. Okay. Accident. When's the only time we destroy technology? Accidents. Mm. Most yeah. of the time. Yeah, yeah. yeah Most yeah. of the time. No one intentionally. No one intentionally yeah, you're right. going in to destroy technology. You're right. So the way, so the way these films view them are skewed then because it's they're a little showing, skewed. They are showing people kicking robots or yeah, get, get beating, the, them, beating them, getting the fuck away from like, me, throwing acid on them, all that shit like that. Okay, I got you. That's I don't know. That's saying. weird. I don't know. That's weird because it's like, well, at least in this society, mm-hmm. I don't know around the world, but. In this society, I don't see anyone, you know what I'm saying, yeah. like, fucking with shit. Like, especially, the people who are going to have robots are going to be in a separate demographic. That's true, because they're they're the, they're the ones that actually care about the robots and stuff like that. Exactly. So. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know, man. It's a lot. It's a lot to break down. Yeah. That was a, that was a good question. I like that. How did we get on top of that? What did we talk about? <laughs> oh, magic! Magic led uh, yeah, into yeah. robots. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, you're. I mean, I mean, that, that's a, that's that's a real, very good question, man. I mean, it, it is true. Like, um, technology, magic is just science we don't we understand. We don't understand. And I think, and we're talking about how we're heading towards that again. Yeah. yeah so, like, be, be for I, real. I like, think people. Who and I'm not saying this is what Ju, uh, Julie is. I'm saying I think people who want magic are because they don't want to really do anything. So if I could snap a finger and make something, what's well, not even that? Like with legit magic, Jeff. Uh-huh. With any magic, you have to learn magic. Oh no, we got into the conversation by uh, Shazam and Superman. Yeah, and yeah. I was like, yeah, magic. That's why they equally match. Yeah, magic. You see what I'm saying? That makes sense. But, uh, okay, Jeff, technology could easily make help you not do anything as well. But the magic she's true. talking about, because remember, they're one in the same. That's true. That's they're true. one in one the same. One is just has to be harnessed by right. so- Some something. Some energy source. source. But even with technology, you need energy. Yeah. But even with magic, you need to make a sacrifice in order to use that. What's well, not even just. That said magic. In general. In general. In general. Yeah, that's true, because we're you, sacrificing minerals right, to create exactly, stuff in the phone. Exactly. Yeah, I see what you're in saying. In general, it's the same, one in one. It's just a different route humanity decided to go on. Gotcha. Because you said we could either go that route, the biological where we can enhance ourselves, or the technological, which this is a the... A techno this race. Is, yeah, this is the universe. Yeah. Like, this where universe we, chose we decided the decided to be yeah. technological. This we, universe decided to choose the techno race, where another universe probably decided to go the biological and enhance their advanced. human self. Yeah, advance yeah. themselves, yeah. understand the, the biomechanics of nature itself, mm-hmm. 
create to different manipulate, it, manipulate uh, the yeah. matter in nature manipulate their, their trees cells. themselves the water the, water, yeah. the conditions of their planet mm-hmm. terraforming there you go. shit like that you know what i'm saying we decided hey fuck it cold calculated machines hey it is what it That's is. That's why when you're when I sent you that um when I sent you that TikTok the other day of that I think that I still think that was an actor. No, that there's was no a, way that was, that a, was a robot. robot. No, <laughs> that was a that robot. Was an actor. No, because Boston Dynamics still hasn't gotten anything that good. <laughs> they're not. They're not. Boston no, Dynamics. Boston Dynamics is number one. <laughs> nope, you're not gonna tell me that. Nope. Uh, Boston like, Dynamics is number one. Okay. <laughs> number one. Number. Secret experiment one. in uh three hundred thousand feet underground. You know. <laughs> China and they'd be lying. <laughs> They've had that same Toyota robot for thirty years. Now, the With the baby face. Yeah, China. Yeah. yeah, you know exactly what I'm talking yep. about. China and them be lying, bro. They always be lying. Oh man. Kind of like oh, Russia's like, oh, we got hypersonic. Okay. Where they at? Where they at? How come you haven't used them yet? Where they at? Empty threats. Bro, where the <laughs> fuck they at? They're probably just gonna get regular missile and type hypersonic. <laughs> It's be, yeah, it'd be fake ass shit. I'm like, yo, stop, stop. Like you said, if they had it, they would have used it. They would have been. They used never it. used it. If they had it already, come on, man. Yeah, the world would be different already, bro. The world would have been different. But it's just like that. Just with with tech and magic, there's no difference. Cause like she was explaining to me, she's like, yeah, but then, you know, um, we would just understand more about the earth. I'm like, Julie, at some point. Technology is gonna get to a point where we can manipulate the earth. The earth, and then yeah. you tell me what. Like we're like uh, scientists are literally inventing a machine to bend the space. Exactly. Because it keeps expanding. We're so. literally incorporating xeno structures in material that we make. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So. Shit that you find in plants and trees. Mm-hmm. You know. In 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 snowflakes, the structures and snowflakes. Mm-hmm. Because but, every every snowflake right. is different. You know what I'm saying? Like types of you know, it's just ah, like come on, bro. Yeah, no, I hear you, man. I hear you. Come on, man. Like we're gonna get to a point. We're literally 3D printing and 3D print. Like imagine what 3D printing is gonna look like in 2030. Yep. That's stupid. That's it's like it's like exceptions. Yeah. When they're using three D printing to make yeah. the the, nan- the nanites just came, formed it, and then it released everything. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So You're not gonna have to like, wait two three hours for your three D print to. I don't know, man. Really. I'm just trying to get to a point in humanity where I don't have to eat. Oh, like uh, where they would take the pills. The little yeah. pills that had all the nutrition. They're like, this is lunch. Yeah. When uh, Dexter, Dexter's Laboratory, when he's like, uh, when he was in the future and they're like, uh, lunch is ready. And it was like four pills, four pills. eggs, um, eggs, bacon, cheese, all that stuff like that. He just took it. And he's like, oh my God, that was oh, man, good. It was because it expanded. And it's well, st- think about it. It was like everlasting gobstoppers. Yes. It never, it it never, ended. never ended. Oh man, it's hot soup. It's turkey dinner. Yeah. It's. Mashed potatoes, hot soup. soup. What, bro? That's nice. That's nice. But the, you know is it saying? just the flavor in your mouth, or does it actually feed you though? Well, you remember what Wonka said. He's like, "This was to help world hunger." Um, okay. He's like, "This was to help world." But hunger. he said there was a side effect. I think it it, it turned you blue or something. Yeah, shit. I yeah. So. yeah. As soon as it got yeah. to the blueberry part, mm-hmm. blueberry or blubber. Violet, you turned you violet, violet. Violet, what the fuck? <laughs> hey man, we're dating ourselves. Yep. Bro. That's it. That's that's archaeological shit right there. Bro. It's an archaeological movie. But all in all, yeah, the Shazam was not Shazam. The Black Adam was a good movie, um, and. I, I feel like they're going the, not the dark tone, but a serious tone. Because... Wasn't it a serious tone the whole no, time? No, because remember, they tried to... Lighten it up because they're trying to pull a... They're uh, trying to get out of that whole... Dark. New 52 dark era. Yeah. I know what you're talking about. Brooding Superman, brooding Batman, brooding everyone. And then shazam just kind of flipped that on its head wonder woman yeah it was good too you know um shazam was good wonder woman was good then the 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 suicide squad was also good too yeah so, uh, and that was pg-13 right yeah yeah, yeah. you know so they kind of tried to bring no, no it was radar 
They're showing you meat, blood, and everything. Not the same one. The first one? No, both of them were PG. Uh, the both of them were radar. No, the first one was PG thirteen. The second one was rated R because when you go the rated R route, you're actually able yeah, to do a lot more. That's what I was saying. I was yeah. like, I know the first one was PG thirteen. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. No, I agree. You know what I'm saying? But now, like, it's not dark, or it's like the apocalypse god and all that shit. Yeah. Is that over with the whole Justice League movie? Did that end? Yeah, I think so. Like, did that Zack Snyder just did what he was supposed to do, and because, because, uh, like he said, nobody, the the executives didn't want that, so they just gave him the money to finish up his vision, which was really good. But then Dwayne Johnson came in the picture, so that's going to change. And they, okay, okay. and they fired the old executives because they don't know what the fuck they want. They've they been have trying, no idea. They've been trying so hard to copy Marvel, which Marvel is not even in a good spot anymore. Um, they've been trying so hard to copy Marvel that they've been failing. They've been falling flat on their asses because they're trying to rush. I don't know. Marvel, Marvel's kind of... I don't know, bro. Marvel left me at the last uh, train stop. <laughs> and I mean, Moon Knight was good. And I found these are series though. Yeah, and I series found out from is more digestible. I found out from um, from Skyler that uh, ever since She Hulk comics came out in the eighties, it was always a comedy. That's how she was. I feel like it was. Yeah, she. They never took her character seriously. Yeah, I feel that's like why it. they. That's why they created a show like that. He says all the episodes were good until the last episode where they didn't know what they wanted to do. Is there going to be a second season? No. They always say that, and then they're going to do a second season. No. I'm not sure I bet there's going to be a second season. There's not going to be a second season. There's going to be a second season. There probably is going to be a second There's going to be a second season. <laughs> like, look me dead in my soul and tell me there's not going to be a second season. Yeah. It's Disney we're talking about, sir. It's Disney. What? This is Disney. All right, man. It's about that time. It's about that time. All right. Take us home. Thank you guys for joining us at the Tabletop. If you want to catch us Tuesdays and Thursdays, we are on Spotify, Google Podcasts, Deezer, TuneIn, iHeartRadio, and Amazon Music. And if you want to catch our ugly mugs on Mondays and Mondays and Fridays, Mondays and Fridays? No, Wednesdays and Fridays. My bad, guys. Wednesdays and Fridays, um, catch us on YouTube, uh, Tabletop Topics, one word. Um, also, we have our uh, Clips channels. Uh, our TikTok clip channel and of course our um, YouTube clips channel. So if you want to watch short reels and not have to run through the entire one hour, two hour podcast, you can check us out on those too. And if you're interested in the clips that we that we put up, then go ahead and um, click on the link and um, watch the entire thing on our videos. But I appreciate you guys for joining us at the tabletop. I hope you guys have a good day. Bye, y'all. See ya.